Hello everyone, I'm Melissa New and welcome to What's in Your Bag. I'm here with Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. That's kind of a tongue twister a little bit. Okay. Right? Kind of? Did Close I do it? Right? pretty well. <laughs> you know, okay. I, I got it. it. I got this. And we're with Alan Hess, a concert photographer. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's that's what I do. Amongst many other things. Right. Mainly I'm known for my concert photography and it actually happens to be my passion. And uh, I have a little bit of a switch going on, I'm doing a little bit more pet photography. But, what? Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll touch that. Like... It's the same kind of gear and the same kind of settings too. It's a really weird thing. Oh but, my gosh, really? that's amazing. Right. Well, Chase, you do a lot of concert concert yeah. stuff as well. I came from the music industry. I was doing production and touring, and uh, I just hadn't always had cameras with me. So part of what I, how I got, I got started was just access. Right. You know, if you're the person with the camera and you have behind the scenes access, yeah. you get some really cool oh. shots. We don't like you. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like me because you're out after three songs. Right. You're out of right. the pit, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, we've got some fighting words. It's okay. Out. It's okay. Well, I well, well, let's talk. I'm gonna kind of turn this to you. This is kind of your your thing. So what what kind of uh, let's let's talk about gear. Let's pull out the geek stuff. You've got this amazing team right here with the lens and a, a beautiful beast of a body. You've got. Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> oh, the camera. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, we're talking about the camera. So. Did did you see a lot of people utilizing lights? And I'd actually be curious if Alan uses lights and strobes when you're you're on location. Did you see a lot of photographers when you were doing concert photography utilizing strobes and off-camera flash? And uh, it really depends on um, kind of who's hiring them or if anyone's hiring them. Most concert photographers don't get the luxury of you know to put lights on stage. Right. The lighting designers put their efforts in. They've designed the stage. They want a certain look. So and you know no one wants extra flashes going off. Okay. You know, the audience finds it distracting sometimes. But there are other things uh, gear related, especially if you are a house photographer, and I'd be curious to know if you've dabbled in this at all. Um, since you're kind of in one place, you know your venue really well. Yes. Have you um, been able to use any gear to kind of do something kind of outside the box, you know? Well, uh, yeah, we, we, well, we've, done, we've done two things recently that were really kind of cool. Well, one of them we do all the time. I do what we call the trade shot, mm -hmm. which is um, it, it's kind of a nightmare for a photographer. So you've got an artist who does like a... a Meet and greet, and, and they, they, they're coming in, all the fans are doing it. Right at the end of that, the promoter, the owner, all the people come in, we get to have like one shot with the performer. Right. So I get literally one frame wow. or two. So I, it's one of those things where it's an SB, you know, nine town on top of the camera and right at the ceiling. And depending bouncing, on which room yeah. we're doing it, I'm, I'm bouncing it off. I know all the rooms. So I'm like, oh, okay, we're going to be in that area. There's no ceiling. So it's a, like a rogue flash bender on top of it right. to get it going. And I, I literally have to bring it in, I'll shoot. Um, the camera's so fast, the flash is so fast that I can get three frames off before they realize I've shot more than one, and I'm usually like right in the middle. I don't tell them. <laughs> and I'm, you know, they look at it and it's like three quick flashes. They're all used to. And usually, the one right in the middle is 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 good. Um, but yeah, because I know the rooms, I can walk in and go, oh, okay, this is you know, I, I need manually. I'll set this for one sixteenth power and, and set my camera up. And, do it. and that's they love it, you know, because they're they're getting consistent results. You know, it's internal marketing and shows up sure. in the back of those like industry magazines. Right. Like, here's the owner with the Alicia Keys. Here's. Right. So that was kind of fun. Um, recently, because especially because I can do time lapse right in the camera without having to go in the computer and spend hours importing yeah. JPEGs and doing stuff. So the D4 and D4S and the D800 and the D, they all have and they can do build um, time lapse right inside of it. So we've been doing some time lapse of improvements we've been doing to the building. So not quite the concert stuff, but they're like, oh, well, if you can do that, we're putting in a new marquee, so let's film in you know, a four days worth of you know construction and make a two minute movie out of it. Uh -huh. And uh, one of the coolest ones was after Cher played and everyone had left, we did a time lapse of the three hour stage breakdown, breakdown. and cleanup of the room. So there's no, you know, no performance, no nothing, but it was great to eat. watching the movie is hysterical because oh, it's like yeah. there's this giant stage stuff and all these people running around and then all the chairs just like disappear oh, and yeah. then all the stage goes down, everything moves and it disappears it's and amazing. then there's this floor cleaner. And you did that but with the I, I did it with a D4 and a 24-70 to 70 and I set it up on a tripod at the top and um, I just made sure I had some extra batteries with me in case it went really yeah. long yeah. and I would have to <laughs> split it. But I, the camera does so much amazing work to put these movies together that the minute you stop shooting, it's built. Yeah. So if I had to stop in the middle, I could change the battery, put a new one in, and make the second movie, and then just stitch them together. And yeah. it, it, it was fantastic. I was, I was nodding off the whole time. Right. It got done. <laughs> it's late. It got done. Well, I got done at four in the morning. So yeah. the show ended oh, at eleven goodness. o'clock, and by the time I was out of there, it was four in the morning. But I went home, and it was done. The camera had built the time lapse for me. I had to do no post processing at all. I just the, image, the file comes out. I 
you know, make it a little smaller and send yeah. it off to the boss. Wow. And they're like, oh my God, that's amazing. And then everyone goes, ooh and ah. And I'm like, I actually, I just sat there and watched the game. <laughs> you know? well, Alan, tell, tell the folks at home where they can find your work. Uh, Alan, or concert and pet work. Well, right, <laughs> right now it's alanhasphotography.com is my website. And so most of it is all the concert stuff. I do post um, things when I work at like Comic Con or I do some big event and I you know, I'll post stuff about that too. I like gear. I'm really like I really enjoy like yeah. the, the mechanics behind Chase it. Chase is like me too. We're gonna hang out <laughs> after this. <laughs> I know. Get this girl out here so we can talk geek talk. No, I would definitely encourage you guys at home to check out alanhess.com. Check Alan out Hess his photography. work. Alanhessphotography.com. It's A L A N A L A N H E S S H E S S photography.com. Definitely check out his books. He's a great instructor, educator, um, but an all-around cool guy. <laughs> I, I, I feel that so. San Diego vibe. Yeah. But also, he talked a lot about the Nikons, the 72 to 200, and Chase mentioned other gear that he uses as well. Definitely check out lensrentals.com if you want to check these out. Anyways, Alan, thank you so much for your time. That was a pleasure. Thank you.